Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a new from Milani video. So if you guys are interested in seeing what's new from Milani at the drugstores, then just keep watching. So we're going cash today. I've got the nice warm hoodie, braid in the hair, very casual day. So let's jump right in with the new products from Milani. So first off, they released two new palettes, which I think is an amazing idea. I've only tried one of their palettes before and I thought they were really, really good, but they released the Bold Obsessions eyeshadow palette looks like this and the most loved mattes which is awesome I've been looking for a new all matte palette and something that would be affordable so that would definitely be a good option let's open these up and see what they look like nice gold front ooh looks very similar to like the tartlet palettes very pigmented and smooth nice or that's the most loved mattes. Let's check the bold obsessions. Again with the gold front. This one reminds me a lot of a Stila palette. I don't remember which one it was, but it had like these metallics and these warm colors. Let's try the metallic. Ooh, that is soft. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. And it looks like there's even like a duochrome one up here. Maybe not, maybe it just looks duochrome. That's pretty. If you guys wanna see a tutorial using those or a full swatch video, please let me know below. Okay, next they released two, like, what are these called? Stellar Lights Highlighter Palettes. I have 03 Rose Glow and I have 02 Holographic Beams. Is this is what they look like. I don't know, I'm assuming there's a one since there's a two and a three, but I do not have number one. So let's play with these. All right, here is zero three. We have pearl, golden quartz, and rose gold. They're a little on the dry side, a little on the dry crumbly side. They're pretty. They're very metallic. So if you like a metallic highlight, you might enjoy that. And then 02 Holographic Beams. We have Unicorn Dreams, Make Believe, and Otherworldly. <laughs> Here they are. This pink one's calling to me. Can you guys see it? Really pretty. I already have some pink highlight on, so we'll just we'll just top it off here. I like it. Dry and crumbly, but I think with a little like setting spray and then applying them, I think that they would work really well. Here they are. All right, that's highlight. Oh, there was one more highlight that I forgot to mention. This one came broken, unfortunately. This is the Hypnotic Lights Highlighter and it's in 02 Luminous Light. Let me have my trash can handy in case this just crumbles all over the place. All right, ready, set, go. <gasps> the whole thing just came out. All right, so the whole highlight just fell out of the pan which is not ideal, but I wanna make this work, so I'm just going to pop it back in and just proceed cautiously. This is a really pretty, it reminds me of like the Becca Amethyst highlight. You can see it's got like the geometric pattern all over it. But the color, again, is like that really pretty iridescent pink that I am absolutely loving right now. You guys see it right here? It's a very soft iridescent pink may not be able to see it, but it's definitely there and it's definitely beautiful. So I'm excited to try that one. So far, we don't really have any flops, so this is, this is good. Next, they came out with some lighter shades of their much-loved Conceal and Perfect Foundation. They had previously had like one and up and they came out with a zero, but that still wasn't light enough for a fair porcelain-skinned individual. So they came out with a 00B light and a 00A porcelain, which is very exciting because I feel like the 01 vanilla shade, I think it was called, was too yellow for me, so it wasn't even fair enough for me, and I'm not super fair. So let's try these out. 
Now we're talking. Here is 00A porcelain and here is 00B light. This is definitely porcelain skin and this is probably my actual shade. So I'm excited to try this new shade. I'll probably save this one for when I have absolutely no color um, or give it to a friend that's even paler than me. So excited to try these because I do remember really enjoying this foundation. So good job, Milani. Next, we have a concealer palette. This is the Fair to Light palette. It has conceal, correct, and perfect. Use correcting shade four to diffuse discoloration and to brighten skin. And then using complexion enhancing shades one, two, and three to highlight and conceal or mix together to create a perfect shade. So these three are conceal and this one is like a color correct. So the pink shade is on my middle finger right here. Conceal, 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 and pink. I don't know if any of these are really light enough. They're all kind of on the pinky tone, so if you have cooler toned skin, less pink, this may not work for you, but I will give this a try in the future. I'm gonna try all this stuff in the future. Who am I kidding? <laughs> All right, moving on to face powders. It looks like they launched a new line of Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powders, which is very exciting to go along with the Conceal and Perfect foundations. Good thinking. So we have 01 Fair right here, which doesn't look very fair. Are we gonna have the same issue we had with the concealers? Let's see. It says, lightweight powder helps skin stay shine-free, buildable coverage for flawless finish, mattifying bamboo powder absorbs oil, and calming lily extract tightens the looks of pores. I like that. So inside, they give you a little sponge attached to the back of the packaging, and then inside is the powder. So let's try this powder. Ooh, it feels very silky smooth. That color actually is pretty fair. So that is a good color for fair. It's a little pink tone, but this is fair. And then we have And then we have 03 Natural Light. Again, very very soft. Ooh, that's kind of very yellow. Okay, so natural light is very yellowy and fair is pink. So maybe the shade in between would be perfect, but of course that's the one I'm missing. So I'll have to check it out in the future and let you guys know, but there are the powders. Okay, so they have pressed powders. They also came out with some loose powders. Again, I have 01 translucent light to medium, and I also have 03 translucent banana. I'm always up for a banana powder, but I feel like a lot of times they're just too yellow for my skin tone. Yeah, this one's very yellow as well. I see it right here. Oh, and it has sparkle. What? It's shimmery? Here's the banana powder. I believe it has shimmer in it. I can't tell just from one swipe, but it looked like it had a little bit of shimmer in it. So if you don't like a glowy under eye, you may not like this powder, but I'm always up for a little extra glow and a little extra blue cancellation. Let's check out translucent. Here's translucent. I feel like this also has a hint of shimmer in it. Interesting. Right here. So it does look like it kind of dissolves into the skin but leaves a little sheen on the skin. So we'll have to see how noticeable that is after all the makeup is said and done. But again, I'm game for trying it. I don't like glitter on my face, but I don't mind a healthy sheen or glow. All right, next up is a setting powder that I've actually had for a while. I've just never gotten around to testing it. It's the Make It Last Setting Spray. It says 16 hour wear. I am running low on my MAC Fix Plus, so I desperately need another setting powder. So I'm gonna pull this one out and see what I think of it. Hmm. I like the fragrance on this one. It's very fresh. The mist is nice and fine. My face definitely feels wet, so I think I need to hold it further out than I did for the MAC Fix Plus. 
And obviously you get less product than Fix Plus. Fix Plus is 100 milliliters. This is 60 milliliters, but it's a fraction of the price. So if it works, I'm game for that. It feels very cooling on the skin. I like that. Okay, they launched, I don't know if they launched a new line of lipsticks. I only have one from Milani. This is the Color Statement Lipstick in 85. Oh, that smells so good. I had a pink kid lipstick when I was younger that smelled just like this. I remember loving it until my sister got it and smeared it all over her face and she used up my entire pink lipstick. It was like my favorite like play lipstick as a kid, but it was an actual lipstick. It smelled just like this. Oh, it smells so good. It's fruity. Okay, so here is this one. Not super opaque. It kind of gives your lips a sheen. And I believe that's what this was called. No color statement lipstick. Oh, but that smells so good. It takes me back. It takes me back to my childhood. Good times, good times. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> All right, next we have some other light, light products. Next, we have some other lip products. These are three that I purchased a while back. I saw them on a display at Walgreens and I hadn't seen them anywhere else. These are the Stellar Lights Hip Holographic Lip Glosses. I have tried all three of these and my favorite is actually this blue, green, purple one. It looks amazing on just about every lipstick. So anyway, there's I think six of them. This one's like a pink blue. This one's a white and pink, like duochrome. This one's green, blue, purple. I'm gonna show you what this one looks like on top of this lipstick. If I had a mirror. So they have like the doe foot wand. And they smell like, I wanna say coconut icing. Definitely coconut. So I know I already had like a pinkish lip or purplish, I know I already had a purple type lip going, but this looks beautiful on nude, on anything. It makes your teeth look whiter in my opinion because of the hint of blue in here. I just think it's really fun. It's really beautiful. I feel like it's very wearable. The glitter is not gritty at all. So I really like these. They're fun. I like these more than the MAC lip glosses, lip glasses, whatever you want to call them. I like these better. All right, they also recently came out with these Hypnotic Lights Holographic Lip Toppers. So those were lip glosses. These are lip toppers and the caps have gold glitter on them. They are so pretty. So these are really fun. Uh, let's try them out. I have four, number four, and I have number two. I wonder if these are a dupe for the Kevin Aquan lip toppers that recently launched. If you guys wanna see a dupe video in the future, let me know. It's so windy outside and we have a bazillion tall pine trees, like really, really tall. And I can look through my skylight and see them bending almost in half. It's a little scary, <laughs> just a little. All right, I'll be back when I open this. Okay, so I have the first one open, this is 04. This one looks like it's a pink with a hint of like goldish green. Smells like buttercream icing. I was a cake decorator for a couple of years. I know this scent. That's pretty. You guys see it right here? It's like a pink and gold lip topper. Hmm. I would put them all on my lips, but I don't want to cross contaminate glitter and topper. That's beautiful. Could they just seal like this part instead of doing the entire product? Perhaps that's harder for manufacturing, but come on guys. Sealing these is killing me. <laughs> Just seal the part where it opens so that you know if it has not been tampered with. Don't seal the entire package. All right, here we go. Finally broke into number two. This one I'm not sure I'd call a topper. This is like fuchsia, metallic fuchsia. Bright pink. Rach loves, I know you like your bright pink, so have you tried this yet? If you guys know how to tag, feel free to tag her in this video. I think she would really like this one. So here are the lip toppers. 
Next, they launched a new line of Amore Shine Liquid Lip Colors. And it looks like I have two that don't have shine and this one that has like a hint of sheen. So we have 03 Crush, 01 Delight, which has the hint of sheen, and 06 Passion. You can see the colors right here. I bet these probably smell like vanilla too. They do have really nice liquid lipsticks, so I will probably enjoy those. I will probably enjoy those. They have good liquid lipsticks. And finally, yes, yes, finally, they have Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers. I have 06 Bare Pink and 05 Blush. So I'm going to remove my lip products and try one of these to see if it does give you that tingly, plumpy sensation. Did you guys see how easily that just came off? One pull and done. Huh. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna try number six, Bare Pink. Wow, it's got like the Shape Tape Giant Wand. I wanna say peppermint, let's see. I'm feeling the tingle, but I don't think it's peppermint. Yes, there is some peppermint in here. But there's something else. I just hope it's not like chili powder or something because I cannot do peppers. No, it's it's mint. It's definitely tingling. You get like, like that minty tingle sensation. I feel like there's something else in here besides just a peppermint oil or an, a mint oil. Can't put my finger on it, but this feels very comfortable. Not too sticky, like my lips aren't sticking together. There's no strings. So this, this seems like a nice drugstore lip plumping option. If you like the Buxom lip, what do they call it? Buxom lip polishes, which I do, obviously. I'm not sure if you can see down here. Down here, I have an entire collection of them from one of their holiday kits. So I do like the Buxom lip polishes. So, but instead of paying $20 for that, here's a drugstore option. So I would check these out if you like those types of glosses. So that completes my new from Milani video. Stay tuned to see these products in action in future videos. Let me know if you'd like to see swatches of the shadow palettes or if you'd like full lip swatches of all of these lip products. I can definitely do that for you guys or if there's anything that you'd like to see in action in particular, perhaps I will do a wear test of the new shade of the Conceal and Perfect Foundation. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.